obviously when the good doobie has. Yeah! Look, yeah. See, you got to get it out of the way in front of in front of thirty dudes in here. A couple dogs. We're out here, North Dakota, hunt number three. Hopefully, successful hunt number two. We got the crew out here. Why are you filming me, dude? Why? I should have made you do the intro. I'm not gonna say anything. You're not gonna say anything? Of yo, course. Yo, yo. What's up, guys? But we're out here with Dirty Bird, old Matthew Peel. Yes, sir. How's it going, brother? Good. Good. Can you tell us a little bit about the situation today? Well, we're in a cut wheat field. Uh, we had about 150 birds in here last night. The only hide we had was down here along the edge, which was where a bunch of the birds were. So, um, like Bobby said, hopefully this is successful hunt number two. Get it in the books and move on. And then drive and carry. Drive and get, find some more. Haul, haul that shrimp all the way back home. <laughs> yeah. But I know it's really dark out. This is the A-frame hide today, and we're up against this huge body of water here. Now, the birds are not staying on it. They're coming from about two miles away. Uh, the wind, pretty much non-existent today. It's going to be a side shoot. Hopefully it works, y'all. Oh, that's real pretty. Hope y'all can see me. But there's been a ton of you asking me uh, to book early, early season hunts like September, October. I don't do that. Matt at Dirty Bird, they do. They have a lot of availability for you guys. If you guys want to come up and shoot some North Dakota mallards, the time to do it's October. They have availability. Get a hold of them. I'll link all the information down in the description below. Oh, so pretty. Isn't that neat? What a blessed morning. It is. It's a gorgeous morning. It is. My goodness. I could watch this all day. <laughs> These dogs. Just killing them, man. Watching this. Well, check it out here. The hill, we're down in the valley, kind of. Like, so check it out. A frame down there, and then this hill runs up north from the water's edge. Again, it wasn't a big feed. We only put out one bag of dive bombs, five dozen silhouettes total, and that's it. As you can see, we set them real big. This is exactly how they were feeding yesterday, morning and afternoon. <sighs> I'm hoping it's a good one. But Check out that duck's hat, the old school camo hat, the tan hoodies. Oh yeah, they're available. August 20th, everything will be back in stock with all the new stuff, so don't miss that drop. I'm gonna get in the blind. We're gonna sit down and hope it works. Oh, three ducks just landed in the spread. All right, get them guys. Jeez, <laughs> oh, there they go. <laughs> that, that was a joke. That was a joke. Oh my. Oh, that's real pretty. Look at this group. <laughs> oh, look at these. Oh, it's beautiful. Gorgeous. Widgeon. Dude. Are you wearing the pants of a ghillie Dude, suit? It's crop top. Crop top. Nice. Nice. He wears the pants in the relationship. He wears. <laughs> <laughs> huge group of, of birds but uh boy howdy these august honkers are not the easiest thing ever not at all where's he at 
Ja. Papa! Papa! Oh, don't move, don't move, he's coming. Well, he thought about turning around. <laughs> ah, vamanos, amigo. Yep, this is the current situation. Everybody's laying out in the decoys, taking naps. Yeah, we have a shot again. <laughs> oh, early season. It's not the easiest thing I've ever done. It's darn sure not the easiest thing you've ever done. Yeah. <laughs> Good times. Good times. He's like, Bob, it's probably the only time I'm going to be hunting early season is with you being here and then... I'm done. I'm gonna go back to fishing. It's slow, man. There's nothing easy about it. Last year, we had good shoots. The first day we shot 33, the second day like 24, 27. And then the third day wasn't so good, but win some, you lose some. Yeah, long story short, last year up here spoiled me. Spoiled me, spoiled me. But check this out. Look at all of the tracks right here. Tons and tons of goose tracks. Where are they at now? Who knows? Well, this looks like a pretty good spot. Oh! Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Yep. Until I hear a goose, this is where I'll be. I <laughs> uh, hope you guys are enjoying the, uh, the video, huh? Sometimes this is what it is. I'm glad y'all are here, though. I appreciate you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. I got I fucking got lit up. Yeah. That's a deal. Hey, Why didn't they die? Gotta <laughs> <laughs> let them cut one more. Holy mackerel. That was. <laughs> That'll be a great video. Hey, first reaction. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Hey, let me hold that real quick and you get out and give me 50. Oh, <laughs> uh, I had to wait. I had to wait. They, I mean, they were here. I couldn't shoot all the way across. Oh, heck yeah, man. Yep, here's our opportunity number two. Where's he at? Oh, there he is. Oh, God, get ready. Nice shot. No skunk today. Well, Morgie's back behind. Morgie's back behind. Oh, Nicholas, the local beauty himself with the save of the day. Little, little baby goose. Little baby goose. Uh, he, is, he is a young one. What time is it? Do you know? 27. 27. 10, 27. Hey. First bird dead mm. at 10, 20. My goodness. To say it's been slow is, is pretty much the biggest understatement that you could say. Um, these birds, man, they're not pattern. They do not pattern at all. They do what they want. They might come back to this field, some of them, all of them, at whatever time, you never know. There's a lot of water around. And that just gives them tons of options. Yep, 
Well, we're back home and uh, woo, it's the evening. Check this view out. Look at that shot right there. Gorgeous. North Dakota. Uh, so I've been to North Dakota on these hunting trips. This is my, this is my fourth or fifth one. And I can tell you, this is by far the worst. And it was bound to happen. That's my thing. It, it was bound to happen. I've had three to four other epic, phenomenal trips. It's going to happen at some point. You know what I mean? It's bound to. So we're chilling. We just took a uh, ride in the Sherp. It's said and done. We hunted, uh, we hunted three mornings. And total, we shot 13 birds. So um, you guys know. You guys know I love to get after it. You guys know that... I love to chase birds. I, I, I love duck and goose hunting. I can tell you that um, it was harder up here this year. Compared to last, two different stories. But we're getting after it in the lodge. We just fired up the grill. I've been wanting to show you the lodge. Since we're building our own lodge now, I wanted to show you this one. So this is a, a two system lodge. So this wall is actually splitting the lodge in the middle. And this is kind of the low budget side, but it has complete, complete living quarters, little kitchen, little bedroom. Where's the light? In here, it's really cool. And then this leads into the bathroom. Not a bad little, not a bad little gig at all. It's really, really, really neat. So this side over here, look, just tons of deer tons of deer but this one right here us three boys we're throwing down old frederick he's pretending to help but this one over here y'all have seen this before check out this side this is the nice luxurious side let's flip on some lights oh there we go so right here a little bit of couch tv action going on dining this is the uh, only bathroom on this side. Each side has its own bathroom. Washer dryer in here. Shower. This here is Brad. And dive's room for the weekend. Yep, it's a mess. This is <laughs> this is Fred's spot, as you can tell. That's where he's been sleeping every night. It's been an awesome trip. Haven't been killing all the geese in the world, but as uh, a bunch of hunting buddies out here, we've been having a good time. Getting ready to... Uh, to feed everybody. I think we got like what 12 12 people? Yep. You know what it is. You already know. Woo! Well, as you can tell, we're back home. Aren't we, Frederick? Yeah, are you happy to be back home? Yeah, I'm sorry you didn't get to hunt, but that's just the way it goes. Come on. Freddie didn't get to hunt because uh I shot my gun the whole time. Um that means Freddy don't hunt. When I shoot my gun, Freddy likes to break. And that's what we cannot have anymore. So there's going to be some big changes this year as far as hunting uh, with Frederick. You know, I don't want to allow breaking anymore. So there's going to be a lot of hunts. If I'm going and I'm shooting, he may not go and shoot. But there's going to be a lot of guided hunts that Fred will be with me working. And we'll have a big camera going with a cameraman and an editor and have some help so so dad can can me talking about me i can hunt and i can guide my clients i'm excited about that speaking of guiding clients yeah look dude stop marking my wheels man come on oh check it out we got all the backsplash for the kitchen plus Right in here, we got a lot of other lodge goodies. Check it out. Now, while I'm unloading this, I'm going to give you guys a little spiel here. We were headed to the field, whole Bradley and I, and uh, <laughs> we I had looked at that field. Me and Brad looked at that field three days straight, two days straight, never noticed it. We were pulling up to the field, a little two-man hunt. We were, we were literally beyond excited. Whew, it's Brad out here. And as we crested the hill, getting ready to stop by the field to uh, walk into the field, we we're literally only going to use two or three dozen decoys. Brad goes, Bob, stop, stop. What was that? Back up. 
backed up posted sign the field was posted and and the sign was like at a really weird spot where you're going up over a hill and you just aren't paying attention type of deal tried to find the uh landowner farmer anything everything nothing so this this trip uh long story short i've had let's see three to four three to four other trips to north dakota three trips total now four but three trips that were amazing to north dakota i mean ma uh, amazing 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 awesome shoots awesome hunts uh so one out of four being kind of what do you do you know you win some you lose some that's the way life goes in general so i'm checking it up i'm marking it off i'm getting i'm forgetting about it and we're gonna get after some other trips coming up very soon dove season's coming y'all dove season as well as arkansas uh honker op opener they have a conservation season as well i might do that and south dakota early honker season as well so lots to come but this is what i got going on all the new doors for the lodge all kinds of stuff going on i'm telling you and i mean a lot it's like every single day something is new in here yesterday i got done painting i know you guys have seen the paint job before but it's finally like completed all the painting see all that painting now up there along the top see that there'll be a piece of trim along that and then along that and then each window up there will be trimmed out as well but all of the painting done next up next projects this is going to be a pallet wall uh as you can tell my buddy matt he's getting after it and the kitchen is coming along nicely uh we got to remove this little two by four that is holding some weight and as you can see that little eyelet there and over there we got to run a steel braided line up and attach it back but next projects will be the kitchen getting done the pallet wall the huge island the big hang down lights yeah buddy but i know i could sit here and i could ramble and make excuses uh for the lack of goose killing that took place but what i can say on this north dakota trip is that we had a lot of guys we had a lot of vehicles on the road we found a lot of good feeds every feed every field that you guys seen which what was three total every one of them were good feeds i don't think there was one of those feed fields that were under 150 birds 120 birds if, if they weren't that big then they were over 200 birds so we tried uh, i've had some buddies go up there who had oh cameron from we chaser y'all know him they had dynamite luck the first day they shot a two man by 7 a.m the next day they went to a 200 bird feed again they only shot five five were the only th only ones to come he automatically was like wow these birds really don't have a pattern bob i'm like no there's a lot of feed fields there's a lot of corn fields that are now dissed under and uh it just provides so many options for feeds this early in the season this young of birds they have not patterned due to the amount of feeds yada 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 we're done but first of all like i've been saying that new ducks gear the hats the shirts the fred shirt the duck and goose calls they're fully acrylic they're cheap you can use code bob b-o-b -B, no caps at checkout for a good old discount as well as if you guys are wanting to book here at sand hill I will have to be completely honest and i mean it i literally have one date available where i can have over six people and then three other dates that are only open for two man hunts so it's like we're at the bottom of the barrel now still great dates great hunts we just don't have much opportunity left to book new clients so if you if you're interested you better get a hold of me asap the easiest way, Gerald's been doing one heck of a job over on Facebook. Shoot a message to Gerald on Facebook. Uh, I will link both Instagram, Facebook down in the description, as well as big shout out to Dirty Bird Outfitters uh, for getting us out there. They were a huge help. They provided all, all the hunting, all the decoys. Uh, they provided the lodge, tons of scouting. Nick, 
Matt, y'all are great. If you guys are interested in booking a duck hunt, man, or an early goose season hunt up in North Dakota, if I was to recommend you guys do anything, go for some duck hunting up in North Dakota. Get a hold of Matt and Nick. I will link them down in the description as well. But thank you all for being here. The trip didn't turn out what we wanted, but we will get revenge. I have some plans. I have some trips planned up. Just stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that little notification bell on there. But until next time. Peace. Peace.